हेलो फ्रेंड्स दिस वीडियो ऑन हेलो अल्केन्स एंड हेलो अल्स पार्ट थर्टी सिक्स इज ब्रॉट यू बाय एग्जाम फेयर डॉट कॉम नो वर्ड फेयर फ्रॉम एग्जाम नाउ वी लर्न पॉली हेलोजन कंपाउंड वॉट आर पॉली हेलोजन कंपाउंड नेम सजेस्ट पॉली हेलोजन दैट मीन्स मोर देन वन हेलोजन सो कंपाउंड विच हैज मोर देन वन हेलोजन आर कॉल्ड पॉली हेलोजन कंपाउंड दे आर वेरी यूजफुल इन इंडस्ट्री एंड एग्रीकल्चर एंड दैट्स वाई वी आर स्टडिंग दिस राइट सो द एग्जाम्पल्स ऑफ दीज आर डाई क्लोरोमिथीन ट्राईक्लोरोमिथीन और क्लोरोफॉर्म ट्राई आइडोमिथीन और आइडोफॉर्म टेट्राक्लोरोमिथीन कार्बन टेट्राक्लोराइड फ्रेन्स एंड टी टी दीज आर माई कॉमन पॉली हेलोजन कंपाउंड दैट वी यूज इन इंडस्ट्री एंड एग्रीकल्चर सो वी लर्न लिटिल बिट अबाउट दीज कंपाउंड राइट एंड प्लीज नो दैट दीज कंपाउंड सम ऑफ दीज कंपाउंड दे कैन नॉट बी डिकम्पोज इजली एंड दस they cause ozone layer depletion and we know what are the harmful effects of ozone depletion we have learned class 11 in the uh, environmental chapter that uh, uv rays easily comes and it causes lot of uh, disease to human beings so let's start with dichloromethane it is used as solvent as a paint remover and propellant in aerosols that is rockets right it is used as a process solvent in the manufacture of drugs for drugs also it is used it is used for metal cleaning and finishing solvent it is something that harms the central nervous system it can impair your hearing and vision quality it can cause dizziness nausea tingling and all this kind of disease it can cause and direct contact to human can cause burning and redness of the skin it's very harmful this is the structure ch2 cl2 right direct contact with eyes can also burn the cornea next the trichloromethane this is also again harmful only this is employed as a solvent for fats alkaloids iodine other substance and this is the formula c cl3 h or ch cl3 this is generally used for refrigerant it was earlier used for anesthetic surgery but since that is toxic it is replaced by less toxic anesthetic such as ether if you inhale this chloroform it will depress your central nervous system breathing even 900 parts per million can cause dizziness fatigue and headache this is slowly oxidized by air in the presence of light to form extremely poisonous gas called carbonyl chloride also called phosphorescent therefore it is stored in dark so chlorine chronic chloroform exposure can cause damage to liver kidney and other kind of problem in the skin similarly triiodomethyl it was earlier used as antiseptic but again now it is not used as antiseptic because it has very bad smell then is next is tetrachloromethane the formula is ccl4 it is used for manufacture of refrigerant and aerosol cans it is used for feed stock and also used for solvent and until 1960s it was used for cleaning right for dry cleaning and all but now it is not used it is also used as fire extinguishers exposure to carbon tetrachloride can cause liver cancer and the most common effect is dizziness headache nausea vomiting and nerve cells unconsciousness Trauma, stupor, even death—very harmful. So, exposure of CCL4 can make your heart beat irregularly and can stop. Also, it can also lead to eye burning, and in the this also leads to ozone layer depletion. The next is freons. Freons are nothing but the compounds of methane and ethane. They are correctly collectively called freons. They are the chlorofluorocarbon compounds of methane and ethane they are very stable they are unreactive non toxic but the problem is since they are very stable you no know, once they are into the system is very easy uh, difficult to decompose it right this is used commonly in industrial use and it's formed by swash reaction it is generally used in refrigeration air conditioning and also in aerosol uh, propellant by 1974 the total ferron production was around 2 billion pounds and this is only used for the told refrigerant and it, it goes to a stratosphere and it uh, 
disbalance the ozone ozone layer balance because it starts this chain reaction. We have discussed about all these things in the class 11. And this is the DDT. This is the how DDT looks like. It is used as organic insecticides. It was prepared in 1873, but 1839 was not used. Only it was used after 1839 when this pharmaceuticals in Switzerland discovered that this can be used as insecticides. He was awarded Nobel Prize for this in 1948. But after this World War II, it was extensively used and with that it became ineffective because mosquitoes that cause malaria and they become immune to these kind of uh, insecticides, right? Because after 1945, these all uh, insects, they, they developed resistance for DDT and also it is found that this DDT was toxic to fish. So the aquatic system was getting dismantled, right? Also the stability of DDT is very high. So once in the system, it's very uh, difficult to remove it from the system, right? So, and same thing if the in the in injections continues, then it can kill the animal for a period of time. It is banned in US in 1973, but still some part of the world it's still used. Thank you. Visit examfear.com to watch free educational videos, try free online tests, get the best quality study materials, study from the best tutors and mentors, and much more. Thanks once again.